Hi everyone, today we will build a search bar application with React and Tailwinds. I will use user's information from JSON placeholders and I will use Axis for this. And there is a small plugin uh, for Tailwinds, Tailwinds scroll bar. Firstly, I install React packages with width. Then I install Tailwinds. Um, you already know this part, so I will go through them quickly. I copy that and I paste it. Then I install Axios and PM install Axios. Then I install React icons and PM install React icons. And finally, I install the Tailwind scrollbar plugin. And I copy that and I paste it. And I add the plugin. Here uh, to Tailwind JS. I copy that and I passed it. Okay. Okay, now let's delete the things we don't need. And I delete everything. And I add, I create a div. I delete use state hook. And I delete that. Okay. And I delete React strict mode. Okay, now we can start. We have a main component here. There will be two different components here. One is search bar and the other is search result component, which contains the result from search bar. Now I create a folder called components into source. And I create search bar GSX. And I created a file with RAFC. Okay. Then I do the same for search result GSX and RAFC. Okay. Now let's import this component to AppGSX. search bash and search results okay uh, I create a div and then import these two components I copy that and I paste it okay now let's add CSS properties with Tailwinds as a class for the container div. Uh, this class name is a uh, uh, flex justify center and before that. I'm going to start our application and item center. And after that, flex column and padding top 28 and minimum width 400 pixel and width full. Okay. And after that, uh, then I add width 450 pixel as a class for the div that covers the components. Now, using the use state hook, I will add search bar and search result as props. You state snippet uh, results and set results and in initial value is a empty array. Okay, for search bar, I add a props name called set results. Set results uh, and add set results as a props for search bar uh, sorry for search results I had a props name called results and add results as a props okay set results and result okay now we are done here let's move to search bar to use API and edit the data Okay, there is a container div here. First, I need to import this uh, icon. 
imports FA search from React icons slash FA and I import search results prop okay after that then I import uh, icon into the div uh, FA search okay after that I add input I create an input type text uh, placeholder is a search for something okay now let's set CSS for the container div is a background dark gray okay after that with full uh, rounded large and height 12 and padding 4 and shadow large and flex and item center okay then I add CSS for the icon I add class name text violet 500 okay and cursor pointer now I add CSS to input I add class um, background transparent and border none outline none and after that text x large and margin left one and place holders text gray 300 and text white and finally with full okay we have done the css part now we need to pass the information we entered in input to use state. For this, let's first create the use state hook. Use state snippets. Okay. Inputs and set inputs. And firstly, initially value use state is empty string. Now let's create a function here uh, when input on change. Okay, uh, event, event as a parameter, and this will redirect to the handle change function, handle change, and I add a event target value to add what has changed, then let's create the handle change function, const handle change. Uh, parameters is a value okay and set inputs value okay now let's print this to the console to check console lock and I import your states As you can see, the text we entered in inputs is printed on the console screen. Okay. Here we will search according to this text. Now let's get users information from JSON placeholders. And users. I copy the URL. Okay. Uh, here I create a variable called const API URL. Okay. I add API here. Then I create a variable called const uh, const user data uh, 
uh, parameters is a value. Okay. I got the information with Axios uh, API URL. After that, then I use then stru structures and response. Then response. What should we do now? We need to filter the value we entered in input. I create a variable called const results uh, response data filters parameters is users okay now it will return this uh, return users if true if username is true and users name to lowercase and includes value so if there is a user and this user has a name and when this username value is converted to lowercase it will return the value from value includes this i hope i was able to explain this part because this part is important then we excited the then methods we added result to set result set results is a result okay after that let's bring it to the console and check it uh, results okay as you can see if the names in the user match the value we entered in the input it prints it to the console okay a b is three match and c is seven match uh, Erin. Is a uh, one match. Okay, that's it. Uh, now we will also use the chat method. If there is an error, it prints it. Chat error. Also lock error. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Then I call the user data function to handle change and add the value as a parameter. Now what we need to do is to add the information in the console on the, to the screen. For this I will switch to the search result component. Now first I need to import the results props. We send it from AppJSX. Results. Okay. Then I need to return the results uh, in JSX format into the container there with the map methods. I create JSX format and uh, results map parameters are results and index IDX. Okay. Return uh, div and key is a uh, index. Okay. I create a p tag, paragraph tag, uh, result name. Okay. As you can see, if the letter or value we enter in input match the information from users, it prints it. Now let's add CSS to them. With full, and after that, uh, background dark gray to F3134. Okay, after that, flex, flex column, shadow large, shadow large, rounded, large, and margin top four. Okay, maximum height 300 pixel okay and overflow y-axis scroll okay and padding x3 okay now i will use tailwind scroll bar plugin and add css properties to scroll class name is a uh, ah, sorry 
scroll bar, scroll bar thumb, uh, scroll bar thumb, slate 400 and scroll bar, track slate 600. Okay. And after that, I add a text white and text large that's it and margin top one and cursor pointers and hover background gray 700 and padding y2 okay Now we build the application, uh, we will load page, that's it. Leon Graham and Chelsea Dietrich and Mrs. Dennis Schulitz and Clementine Bosch. As you can see, it was a simple and beautiful application. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my video.